What's going on, tea sippers? I have some very valuable information. So it seems that Stephen Twitch Boss's funeral was held in private services. But I want you guys to pay attention to a photo that was produced. And this photo was produced just four days before Stephen Twitch's boss's alleged deletion. Castaway. Hmm. Castaway is a person who has been shipwrecked and stranded in an isolated place. And that is a castaway, sort of like on a desert island or somewhere unknown. And if you guys wish to continue to investigate this photo with me, like the saying goes, a picture is worth a thousand words. If you guys can see that Allison is tapping the youngest daughter on her back, which allegedly is Twitch and Boss's daughter. And the youngest daughter is actually pointing at her dad. And we have seen over 500 photos of Twitch Boss and his family. And none of these pictures has her pointing at her dad. But just obvious, out of the way, out of the clear blue, she's pointing at her dad behind Castaway. And if you guys are not familiar with a Castaway, a Castaway is an actual person who has been shipwrecked and stranded in an isolated place. A Castaway is sort of like a person that's stranded on a desert island. Now guys, this photo was just taken actually one week before Stephen Twitch's boss's actual alleged deletion. And as announced to the public that Stephen Twitch boss had a very unstable mental state, which we know this is not true. Actually, Hollywood and Allison Holker had undermined things going on. Let's take Ellen out of the picture for a moment. See, Allison knew that they can use this metaphor, such as Castaway, and that metaphor for William Cowers' unstable mental state in the last years of his life imposes the idea that the hopelessness and despair of depression could befall anyone. However, there was not one ounce of information or even proof to prove that Stephen Twitch Boss was even depressed or suffering from depression. And not to throw any shade, guys, just to prove to you that Allison is fake. She's as fake as the tag, if you guys are looking at this photo, that's on her pants. That is a actual tag from the store she had to nerve to take a picture of in and she was going to return it. However, guys, that is not the topic we're discussing tonight. I just thought I'd throw that information out because like they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. Once again, if you look at Twitch's boss's actual daughter, she's pointing at her dad behind the sign Castaway. And Castaway is pronounced H-T, which in my mind says Twitch. I don't know what the H stands for, but Twitch was the castaway in this photo. Guys, I want you to stay tuned because the tea is just about to warm up. Welcome to my channel. Please enjoy the video. What is going on, my tea sippers? I am back with another video. According to reports, Stephen Twitch Boss's family held a private funeral services for the late dancer. And I know you guys are wondering, his actual self-deletion allegedly was announced to the public. So why did it take so long for an actual self-deletion and the services were held private, but were held back from the public? Besides, Twitch Boss had millions and billions of fans across the nation. See guys, according to the sources that were actually close to the Ellen DeGeneres show told TMZ that Twitch Boss will be laid to rest Wednesday afternoon in Los Angeles in a very small and intimate funeral attended only by close friends and family. And get this, guys, this is where the red flags fall in furtherly. See, Allison announced that there will be a second larger celebration of life in ceremony in the near future. However, which will be held close to friends and family and people who Boss considered his extended family and the outlet reported this. However, the extended friends and family never came out to give a statement. Only Allison and Twitch Boss's mom and actually his actual granddad. So if Twitch Boss was so loved by the Ellen DeGeneres show and his wife Allison, why does there need to be a second service in the near future? And we're not going to talk about the picture that I uploaded to my community post. Like I said, guys, a picture is worth a thousand words. And once again, tea sippers, I want us to go over the information of the facts that was produced to the public. So we must take that information and add it on as facts. However, that does not mean that those are facts. However, we can debunk by using common sense once again. And once 
once again, I must add in this video that only the note that was left in the hotel room when Steven Twitchball's body was found by hotel staff, that actual note is what led the investigators to rule his death as an actual suicide. Now remember, tea sippers, Allison, his wife, was adamant with cops that morning. She knew something was terribly wrong because he left the home without warning and stopped all communication. However, she's supposed to be very frantic and afraid of what may have happened to her husband. See, what Allison was very unaware of, guys, is that she was being photoed at this actual private funeral. So the funeral was not so as private as she thought because her actual body language and everything that you can see in this photo proves otherwise. She was not frantic and she is not a grieving wife. And I don't care what anyone has to say. This is not alleged and this is the actual private funeral services for her husband. And don't get it twisted, tea sippers. There has been alleged information that has been sent to me and it was stated allegedly that twitch boss was having sex with other females and males in hollywood he was actually going to parties with ellen at her house and he was actually having sex with males however t sippers i will not disregard any information that has been sent to me regarding this case because like i said steven twitch boss did not delete himself and this is a well-known fact if you have common sense and don't just accept what the media puts out. And please don't forget guys, Allison was the only one to report Twitch missing. And she actually decided without knowing to list him as a critical missing person. Now get this t sippers recently before this private memorial and funeral services Allison Harker had for her husband, she described him as the beacon of light that he will continue to cast his light and love throughout the world. However, if you guys are listening to the message that she posted on Instagram, she never described him as casting his love within their household. She's speaking on a public platform, so she must speak for the public, so the public feels better about Twitch Boss's passing. Not about her feeling better about her husband actually passing. Because if you're speaking for your husband, you're going to speak from within to without, not from without to without. Once again, tea sippers, if you pay attention to this photo, Allison looks the total opposite of what she reported on the day that Twitch boss went missing and being a grieving wife and everything that she's posting on social media. It seems the opposite to me. It seems that she's very angry about something, and it doesn't seem that she's touched or even moved by his death. I don't even see any bags under her eyes that she's lost any actual sleep. And remember, guys, it was actually reported to the public that Wesley Boss was Twitch's biological daughter. In which we guys know that this is apparently not true because Allison's daughter, Wesley Fowler, is actually a Caucasian girl. She's not biracial. Like I said, guys, a picture is worth a thousand words. This is not them just on the street corner days before Twitch Boss's death. This is the actual day of his funeral, and neither one of them seems moved. One seems angry, and one seems very happy. Of course, guys, we have to use common sense. What is really going on behind Twitch Boss's death? If I didn't feel that this man committed this act, I would have never posted this video. Guys, you know I go off of my intuitions. In most of the videos, I post about different celebrities, and I do celebrity news only, not true crime. But actually, I'm going to be getting into that on my second channel. But however... I know for a fact, and I was not there, that Twitch boss did not delete himself. Please believe me, and I told you guys before this information came out. However, further information will be leaked. Let's just see how this private memorial service goes in the near future. Another thing I want to let you guys know before this closes out. Remember how everybody was in the comment section prior to my video about Allison not wanting her daughter Wesley to dance in the video with Twitch Boss. However guys, if you pay attention to this photo long enough, you'll see nobody is actually grieving in this photo. Let's just put two and two together. One plus one equals two and two plus two definitely equals four. And just like I told you guys in the very beginning when I start uploading this topic in my commentary, I actually believe that Allison was a suspect. And in the back of my mind, guys, she is the main suspect, not Ellen DeGeneres. 
Allison. Everything started at home. All of the secrets were kept at home. And Allison Hoker knows what those secrets are. However, guys, I'm going to do more digging and I'll be back with another video after I get that information. I ask for you guys to be patient. And once again, I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will return to you guys with the next video. And I'll catch you then.